now that it's um, a week into November, I thought I'd do my October favorites. Um, I have hair, makeup, and fashion. So let's get started. Let's see. Okay, starting off with makeup, um, I picked up the Tarte Shape Tape a little while ago and I love it. At first I was like, eh, I don't think this is my shade. Um, I got like neutral, but it works pretty good. So yeah, I really like that. It's really high coverage and it lasts all day. Next I have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Oh Dubai. It's like a really nice nude, perfect mix between pink and orangey, peachy. I'm wearing it right now. What a guest. Um, it's my go-to. It goes with every single thing. Every look, everything. It's a perfect nude. And next, um, just like the other day, I picked this up, but I have been loving it. I was mixing my Champagne Pop Highlighter with a pink, like, iridescent one to get, like, the tone I really wanted, but this one is perfect. It's not too gold, not too pink. Just look at them. It's perfect. It's perfect. Oh my god. So pretty. Um, it's the Pro Illuminate by Revolution Makeup. Yeah, I guess that's the only one. But uh, yeah, I really like it. I'm so glad I got it. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know what category to put this under, so we're going to do it with makeup, but um, for self-tanner, this is the best. I've heard it was the best, but I didn't believe anyone until I tried it, and let me tell you, it's the best. It is the best. There's no streaks. Mm, doesn't really smell bad, and the smell that it does have is very faint, and it's not like a bad smell. Um, yeah, it doesn't, it, I haven't seen it stain my sheets or anything, um, no streaks, it's really easy to apply, you can see where you're applying it, um, you need the mitt, but I didn't want to show you my mitt because it's really gross, and, um, yeah, it's like the perfect color, I got it in, I don't know what, if, there is a shade but if there is maybe it's classic I don't know but um yeah since it's not Halloween anymore I don't have to look like Casper the ghost so I lately I've been uh slathering this all over my body because I was feeling a little too pale and now I look a little healthier so that's good moving on to hair um as you can see we've gotten lighter it's not perfect, but um, we're working there. Uh, to counteract any count, counteract any brassiness, um, I've dealt with brassiness before. Never orange, and um, there's a lot of orange this time. So I got the Joyco Color Balance and Blue shampoo. This stuff works. Really good. Really good. It's so blue. It's like almost looks metallic y, like shiny. But then, then like I, la I lather it. Oh, I can't talk. I lather it up and let it sit um, on my hair while I do, like, you know, shave and everything. Um, so that way I can tone it for a few minutes. Um, usually it will make my hands blue, which I haven't noticed until recently. But um, 
I've used a lot. Um, yeah, it eliminates brassy orange tones on lightened brown hair, which is what I have. And it works pretty good. I like it. Like, I, I should tone my hair, but this is pretty good for the meantime when I can't tone it. Um, or I don't want to. Um, with that being said, uh, my hair has been a lot drier. Yeah, so, um, so the one thing I don't like about blonde hair. So, let's see, I, every time I get out of the shower, I go in with the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Try Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. That was a mouthful. Um, it's a detangler, leave-in conditioner, really good for your hair, I love it. Um, and then I also, before I blow dry, not after because it will be too much, but before you blow dry on damp hair, I use the Paul Mitchell Smoothing Super Skinny Serum. Um, this is really nice because it's like an oil for your hair, but it does, I think it, yeah, less time styling. So it helps um, speed up the blow dry time and it really smooths and conditions your hair. So it feels healthy and nice and fashion okay so chokers are obviously a thing um but now there's pretty ones like they you know there's the grungy ones i like those um but now there's these pretty ones like this one i got from charming charlie it's so pretty i wore it like all the time until i got a few new ones like the other day um, but every outfit I could make this go with, I would wear it because it's so freaking cute. And I always get so many compliments on it. And the shirt I've been wearing nonstop is this shirt. It has like shoulder cutouts, um, oversized, flowy, v-neck. Um, I got it at TJ Maxx, and I love it. I wear it too much, so I told myself I had to stop wearing it, because it goes with everything, too. Like, I can wear it so many different ways. I want to wear it now, to be honest. But, um, yeah, gray is one of my go-to colors, so. Yeah, that was everything for the month of October. Um... I can't believe it's already November 6th, but I can't believe it's already November actually. This year's almost over, so that's interesting. It was a good year so far, really great. Um, yeah, well, let's see what November has and I'll see you later.